Hey guys, this is Skip the Wildcat Kahuna for Kahuna Life, and today we will be reviewing and taste testing Kodiak Protein Packed Power Waffles. Um, this is one of the uh, products that has come out in recent uh, history that emphasizes protein. Um, I have to start for the, let me say for the record, I, I like waffles, which is interesting because I don't like pancakes at all. I just don't, I don't know why, but I do sometimes eat waffles. I prefer the more home style varieties to like the buttermilk or the flavored ones. Uh, but for this test, we did get the buttermilk and vanilla flavored because I just wanted to see, you know, what the taste would be like. And also for the record, I have to say that um, I am not one of these people who pushes uh, protein levels. I believe that you can get all the protein you need from plants. Uh, you don't really need to get additional uh, protein from animal products. If you eat animal products, just eat it because you like it, because you enjoy it, or you feel like it's, you know, one of the things that you should be eating for whatever reason, but you can get all your protein from plants. So I, I'm not a particularly huge fan of injecting protein into your diet via, you know, sort of souped up sources of protein, but I did want to check this out. Uh, so we have 12 grams of protein per serving and uh, let's see what we've got here. 240 calories per serving, uh, which is two waffles. So uh, pretty standard, you got 11 grams of fat and 24 grams of carbs. I am not a carb counter because I'm not big on sugars, but uh, in terms of sugars, this does have seven grams, which is not too bad. And of course, the 12 grams of protein. Uh, the dietary fiber, three grams is pretty good. That's a little bit more normally than waffles would have. Um, I'm not big on bread, really, as well as baked goods. So I would say that waffles would be the only thing that I do uh, sort of enjoy in that category. So uh, I just make them in the toaster, uh, nothing elaborate. I'm not going to put them in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and toast one and we will check it out and see how it is. Okay, so it toasts up pretty well. Um, it's fluffy and crispy. Uh, don't put it on the regular waffle setting that you would normal waffles, I think, because it'll get a little too brown or a little burned. So I, uh, the first one was kind of too done. So I turned it down, uh, made another one. Um, you can taste the vanilla, so the taste is pretty good, but the first thing you notice is that it's really dry, like super dry. I personally don't uh, eat a lot of syrups and things of that nature. I might use like a little honey or agave to put on it, which I'm sure would help. But uh, if it's something that you want to kind of eat on the run or maybe just put a little bit of um, butter or oil of some type on uh you really don't want it to be so dry that you know you can't chew it or you need a really big cup of water or something to uh wash it down with again the taste is pretty good it's it's just kind of dry but if you enjoy waffles and you are already planning to you know put some uh like maple syrup or some other type of syrup uh, that can maybe counterbalance the dryness, you may enjoy it. The dryness is definitely gonna take away from the overall quality, so that's gonna be a three. And the value is probably gonna be around three as well, uh, cause it's a few dollars more than the normal waffles. So you're getting more protein and you are getting a bit more dietary fiber, but everything else is the same as a regular waffle, pretty much. Um, the carbs, the sugars. Um, so it could be a bit healthier option than some of the other standard waffles out there, toaster waffles anyway. 
So that's my review of Kodiak 100% whole grain power waffles. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if you like. If you've tried them and you'd like to post your opinion, by all means, um, you can post that in the comments. If there are any products that you would like for me to rate and review and taste test, let me know and I will check it out. So once again, thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for more reviews.